Hey everyone, this rainy and cold day called for some comfort food. So I decided to make a delicious Iranian herb omelet. I spent the afternoon making kuku sabzi, that's an Iranian herb omelet. The aroma of fresh herbs filling the kitchen and it's pure magic. So flavorful and satisfying. Anyone want the recipe? Hey everyone, Halatun Chatore. It means how are you in Farsi language. Very welcome back to Let's Cook with Rosina. Today I'm going to show you how to make a classic Iranian herb frittata. It calls kuku sabzi in Farsi language. For making kuku sabzi, you will need loads of fresh green herbs such as mint, dill, spring onions, parsley, coriander, and spinach. Sabzi means herbs in Farsi language. To describe kuku sabzi to someone who has never tried it, I would say it's a kind of herb omelette or similar to frittata or let's say vegetable patas. Kuku sabzi is such a traditional and classic Iranian dish and it's so so popular in the country. Kuku is a group of Iranian meatless mostly and sometimes with meat foods that mixed with eggs. So if you like eggs and herbs, you are going to really enjoy this Iranian kuku sabzi. So if you have fresh herbs in your fridge and you don't know what to do with them, kuku sabzi is great solution. Kuku sabzi is perfect for a light lunch or dinner or as an appetizer or for picnic. So let's get started. For making kuku sabzi, you will need loads of fresh herbs. There are many recipes for kuku sabzi that use different combination of fresh herbs. I prefer to use mint, dill, spring onions, garlic, onion combined with cilantro, spinach and parsley. By the way, written amount of ingredients are in description box below. Besides herbs in kuku sabzi, walnuts or gerdu, barberries or zereshk, Salt, pepper, turmeric, baking powder, and plain flour are also used in this delicious Persian favorite kuku. Okay, now I'm going to chop the herbs, but it's really important that you give fresh herbs a good wash before using them to cook. Then remove stems from all the herbs and cut them with sharp knife finely. But remember, don't do this in the food processor because processor cuts the herbs very finely and release their liquid and juice so herbs become wet and you don't want to do this. And also use the green parts of scallions and add baby spinach to kuku sabzi, which makes the dish even more vibrant, green and lovely. Once herbs chopped finely, add one grated onion, medium size, and three or four cloves of grated garlic to the herbs. Perfect. Add three tablespoons walnuts on chopping board, take a sharp knife and chop them. To give the kuku sabzi some texture, Chopped walnuts are perfect. Crack seven eggs into a large bowl. Now all of the ingredients are ready to make our delicious Persian kuku sabzi. Whisk the eggs for a few seconds. Add two tablespoons flour, season well with one teaspoon salt, some ground pepper, one and a half of baking powder and half a teaspoon turmeric to the eggs and gently whisk like so. Perfect. Add chopped herbs, veggies, chopped walnuts and optional barberries into the beaten eggs. And believe me guys, seven eggs, it's not a lot for this much chopped herbs and other ingredients. And now stir until well combined. Perfect. If you like this recipe, please don't forget to like it. In a non-stick pan, heat the vegetable oil over medium heat. For making sure oil is hot enough, put a drop of egg mixture into the oil. If the mixture rising the top, oil is enough hot. And very carefully pour the herb egg mixture into the pan. 
and using back of your spoon to smooth the top of the cuckoo sabzi and press down gently for an even top. Perfect! Cover the pan and cook for about 20 minutes on medium low heat until the top will look cooked and will be firm to touch. As you see, it's easily moving and that's what we want. It's not cooked yet, but it's very fragrant and I love this smell. Beautiful. Now turn off the heat, put a plate top of the pan and flip cuckoo sabzi. Wow, just look at this. Looks really good. Okay, now cook other side for 5-6 minutes and don't cover the pan. Our cuckoo sabzi is ready. Let the cuckoo cool in the pan for 10 minutes, then invert it onto a plate or cutting board. Before serving, you can garnish your cuckoo sabzi with barberries or add some walnuts if you like and slice cuckoo sabzi like you would a pizza and enjoy it hot or cold. You can eat cuckoo sabzi as it is and it's also tasty wrapped in Persian flatbread with sliced tomato or over the rice. You can serve cuckoo sabzi as an appetizer or serve with all the sides for a nice brunch. Cuckoo sabzi is pretty easy to make and super delicious. Okay friends, that was my simple recipe for an Iranian classic herb omelette. And if you are planning on making it, send me some of you photos of your cuckoo sabzi. Okay friends, thank you very much for popping over. Thanks again for all your likes and comments. And I hope see you in next one. God bless and lots of love. Bye.